Hi, I'm Blake with New Canoe. I'm going to walk you through the installation of the Yak Attack Lever Lock Anchor Trolley on the Frontier. This is a brand new anchor trolley system developed by Yak Attack. It has some really cool features and it just functions really well. The Yak Attack Anchor Trolley Kit includes the rope, the rope ring, the lever lock with two self-tapping screws, two Harken pulleys with self-tapping screws for installation or alternative uh, machine screws with lock nuts, and finally three line guides with self-tapping screws. Standard installation, the only tool you'll need is a cordless drill with a Phillips bit. If you're going to use the machine screws and lock nuts on the pulley, then you'll need a 3 8 inch wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. The first pulley goes at the bow end, the wheel goes towards the stern, the hole in the opposite end install the screw right in the center of that flat gunnel surface, and then the second screw we're going to rotate the pulley down just slightly so the wheel is basically right on top of the part line, and then install that. Our primary installation here is with self-tapping screws. Uh, the most secure installation is use the optional machine screws with the lock nuts on the inside. The first line guide goes right in line with the recess for the rod holders and the top of it just beneath the uh, level of the, the gunnel. And then we install that with self-tapping screws. The lever lock, we install that right between the side handle and the end of the Frontier logo. Really that can go anywhere. This is where we recommend it for a standard setting. And then we're going to put that just a half inch beneath the top of the gunnel on the top of the lever lock and install that with self-tapping screws. The line guide, this first stern line guide goes in line with the deck ring and about a quarter inch beneath the gunnel surface. The rear line guide goes in line with the pad eye and again about a quarter inch beneath the gunnel surface and those again are installed with self-tapping screws. And the stern pulley goes just a couple inches in front of the drain plug, again with the rear screw centered on the flat gunnel surface and the, the pulley rotated downwards so the wheel is just in line with the part line. The trolley line is installed through the lever lock, through the line guides, from the top of the pulley down on the bow and the stern ends, and then the loose ends will come together in the middle. We're going to tie those through the, uh, the ring going from the back side to the front side. The back side has the slots, the front side has the hole, which is kind of a little recess area for the knots then that lays flush. Now one little trick when installing this is to put the line through the line guide on the lever lock before that's installed as it makes it a little bit easier than trying to feed the line through after that's in. Last thing we're going to do is tie off the line. So we tie off the first end and then the, uh, the second end. We're going to pull that through so it's pretty snug, not super tight, just pretty snug. And then tie a knot in that and then cut it off and then your anchor trolley is ready for use. After you use it a few times, you can adjust the tension on, that, on the line. If you need to pull a little more slack through and tie it off, that's totally cool.